John, uh, diesel engine chips are a bit of a hot topic of discussion at the moment, but I imagine there are differences between them, am I right? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, that's the most commonly asked question we get at a trade show. What is the difference between a Steinbauer and the other chips? In fact, Steinbauer is not actually a chip at all. Steinbauer is a computer module, which is something that is completely programmable by us. So how about we take a wander inside and I'll explain it to you a little bit more deeply. Sounds great, mate. So then let's start with an overview of how the common rail system operates. This is probably the most asked question that I have at a show. People are intrigued with how the system operates. We have a supply pump here which supplies the pressure to the rail. And this is a common source of fuel for all four injectors, hence the name common rail. Yep. This runs at very, very high pressure up to 1600 bar. And the injectors are controlled by the ECU. This technology allows the engine manufacturer to have multiple injections and multiple injections allow us to get more horsepower out of a smaller engine and reduce the noise of what we commonly know as diesel knock, knock in the engine. Now, I'll do a brief explanation on the difference between Steinbauer and most other modules which we call pressure, pressure. boxes. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So the way that the pressure box operates is it works with a rail pressure sensor here. This sensor sends a voltage back to the ECU which is the brain of the system. Yes. The, the rail pressure box plugs into this and it alters that voltage to the box. And the so box it tricks the box? It tricks the box, okay. that's, that's correct. It, it thinks that the rails pressure is lower than what it actually is. So it tells the injector pump, we need more rail pressure. So the injector pump jacks up the rail pressure. So the rail pressure that's actually in the rail and what the ECU is seeing is two different levels. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, to get some more power out of the diesel engine, we need to get more fuel in. And there's two ways we can do that, by pressure or by time. So if this is the injection opening times of the injector, if we leave that the same and we increase this pressure, we get more fuel in the engine. Yes. Now how the Steinbauer operates is different to that. It doesn't raise the rail pressure at all. The Steinbauer actually plugs into each injector with its own separate harness. It is actually another ECU like this one, but they work in conjunction with one another. So, with the pressure the same, the Steinbauer will lengthen this opening time of each injector. So therefore, getting some more fuel into the engine, creating the power, but doing it differently. Okay. Would I be right in assuming that if you've got more pressure in there, one, that it's all the time, even at idle, and two, that it would actually have the potential to do some uh, damage to componentry, like cylinders, um, that sort of stuff? Yeah, yeah no, that's correct. Um, once they, the rail pressure's up, the rail pressure's up. So through all driving range, that's how it is. Most of these smaller diesel engines now actually have three injections, a pilot injection, a pre-injection, and a main injection. Right. If, if you increase the rail pressure, you get more fuel at pre-injection, pilot injection, and main injection. With the Steinbauer, because it only works with the main injection, we're only adding some extra fuel during the main injection cycle, mm -hmm. which is actually when the piston is starting to already travel down in its power stroke. So it's a little bit like pushing a little bit harder yes. on your knee when you're riding a push bike. Yes. We're giving some more torque, but the pressure is not going too high. So I'd imagine, John, that both a pressure box and a Steinbauer would show uh, more improvement in power and torque curves than a standard engine, for example. Yeah, exactly. They both uh, achieve extra power. Uh, with the pressure box, you are more limited to what you can get out of it. And the main reason for that is that this little pump is only capable of pumping so much fuel. So the more you try to achieve power out of it, and the higher you try to raise that rail pressure, you get to a point where this pump can't handle it anymore. And it will log a code and go into limp home mode because it feels that there's something wrong with the system. But because of the Steinbauer has a fuel map in it, almost identical to what the vehicle ECU fuel map is, and that's a map that we can change. We can change all these different parameters to achieve more torque down low or more power up top, depending on what the person or that particular model vehicle requires. So we can generally have no problem achieving a good 20% uh, power increase out of a vehicle and even sometimes more torque than that down low. But we find with the pressure boxes, tend to be limited a little bit more around the 10 to 12 percent. So in conclusion, a pressure box, fairly simple electronics, easy to fit, however, 
we have more pressure on all the components in the system and we're limited to the amount of output we can get. The Steinbauer, computer box, made in Austria with good German electronics, doesn't have any extra wear and tear on the components but has a far more achievable power output at the back wheels of the vehicle. Fantastic. Mate, forgive the cynicism. You say Steinbauer is the best, but that's what you're selling. Yeah, look, Ian, there's a lot of myths out there about uh, Steinbauer pressure boxes. But we've had um, 30 years in this fuel injection industry, and we've worked with a lot of products other than our own um, before Steinbauer. But we actually took the effort to uh, travel the world and, and find Steinbauer yeah, because it's a unit that came up to our expectations. In fact, it exceeded our expectations. We can pretty well do with it what we want. Brilliant. So when are we going to fit one to your truck? What do you mean? I, I didn't say I was going to buy one. I mean, not one. You need two. Why do I need two? Just if it gives you 20%, you'll get 40. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. <laughs> <laughs>